G'day guys and welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. It's Jesse here and obviously we are right in the midst of grand final week. Probably the best week of the year uh, in my opinion. So because it's the biggest week of the year, I am getting into the spirit and going to make a heap of grand final theme videos for you this week. Starting off with today, I'm doing a video ranking my favorite grand finals from the last 20 years. Believe it or not, I actually recorded this video like a month ago and then I saved it planning to upload it sometime during the finals and I accidentally deleted it because I'm an idiot. Nonetheless, it was a pretty enjoyable video to do, so I'm happy to do it again. And uh, as usual, I'm gonna be using Tear Maker and you guys are gonna be watching me go along for the ride. So let's have a look at the screen. As usual, we're going with the Sabkata ranking method. Uh, obviously top to bottom, best to worst. And uh, as I usually like to do to start off these videos, I'm gonna put my top grand final at the top and my least favorite at the bottom. So let's start with well, this is going to look really biased. I'm going to put West Coast Eagles winning at 06 as the best grand final I've ever seen. In my opinion, it's still better than 18, um, which was another Eagles one anyway. So I'm not that one I can't be too biased about. But um, I just thought for the drama and the contested footy and the fact that it had an amazing moment as in one team won the game. Um, that's what put it slightly ahead of the draw for me, which was, you know, a lot of people considered that the greatest grand final. But I'd say the... The one thing it missed for me was that um, that amazing moment, that release at the end. Um, that's why. But I still will put the drawn grand final at the top here. Uh, let's have a look. Um, uh, that I know that's technically probably the replay, the grand final replay that um, is actually there on the DVD. But nonetheless, I'm going to put it through as the drawn grand final as the top. Now, some of the worst grand finals I've ever seen. Um, a couple come to mind. I'm not actually going to put the Geelong and Port one there because I thought that one was still kind of special in its own right because Geelong actually broke a record and we got to see this amazing team on the start of this um, this massive dynasty, um, you know, annihilate another club who were actually a pretty good team at the time. Not many people remember Port Adelaide as a good team from 07. Um, so I'm just going to put that as C. And then the actual worst ones... The worst grand finals, I think uh, West Coast losing to Hawthorne. Oh, that's going to look really biased again, but let's face it. It was a shite game of football. I have to zoom in here. I think this is 2015. That was shite. I thought Richmond beating Adelaide was a really average grand final. Um, like West Coast, Adelaide didn't turn up in that game, so that was really disappointing. Um, let's have a look at what else we've got here. Now, one of my other favorite grand finals, obviously I'm gonna put the Eagles last year up there. Uh, it was a fantastic grand final, you can't deny that. I think most people accept that it was one of the best ever. But for me, the Bulldogs beating the Swans in 16 was an amazing story, just to cap off their, you know, their amazing sort of, like come from seventh to win the flag. I love that. Um, the game had its own sort of like moments in there, the Tom Boyd goal in particular, Liam Picken. Um, for me, that was one of the most enjoyable games of football I've ever watched. Uh, because obviously it was a big game, so that's why that goes pretty high for me. I, I, I'll be lying if I said I watched the 2000 Grand Final, but I'm going to imagine it was pretty similar vein to Richmond over Adelaide and Hawthorne over West Coast in because it was a 10-goal win. So while I didn't watch the game, I would imagine that's probably where I'd put it if I had watched the game. All right, now let's try and close up the gap between some of these best and worst ones here. What's what's the next one? Okay, so Hawth uh, sorry, the Swans over Hawks in 2012. That was a fantastic game. They won that by 10 points. I think that was the game where, was it Jetta ran down Rioli? Something like that happened. Um, sorry, I'm zooming in and out here just because it's a little bit hard to see. Um, that was a spectacular game. I was riding the Swans all the way. Uh, as you can see, there's a bit of a theme here. The teams who I was going for to win will probably rank high in uh, my rankings videos. Next one is probably also a Sydney winning grand final. That was 05. Now, you're going to look at me and say, are you biased? Because you put the Sydney 05 win over the uh, behind the Eagles 06 win. Honestly, I've said this before, but that was a shite game, 05. Uh, I think the one redeeming factor about it, other than the fact that it was close, was the Leo Barry mark. You know, that was an amazing grand final moment. Probably one of the most famous of the last 20 years. Um, but other than that, you know, there was like 10 less goals kicked in that game compared to 06. Like, I'm glad that the, well, I wouldn't say I'm glad, but it's very fitting that the Eagles and Swans shared a grand final over that period. But let's face it, the actual game of football in 05 wasn't that good other than the finish. And uh, Sydney, Sydney probably deserved to win that by more than four points as well. Port Adelaide thrashing Brisbane in 04 
it was a great story really for them um, to win their first ever flag against this team coming over the end, coming at the end of their dynasty or dynasty. But they won by seven goals. It wasn't actually a great game of footy. Where's Hawthorne winning in 08? That was one of my favourite grand finals. Is that it here? I'm guessing. Yeah. So that was a fantastic game. Again, Geelong at the peak of their powers, beaten by this. I think they only lost one game in 08, and another team sort of like washed away by history because. We remember Hawthorne as a premiership team, but that Geelong team in 08 was arguably just as good as it was in 07. That, that was just a fantastic game of football as well. Two, two really skilled, talented sides going head-to-head, and Hawthorne, the underdog, came through. 2011, where the Cats beat the Pies, was a 38-point win. I will have that as a B. I quite enjoyed it. I was going for Geelong again. That's probably a small factor, but uh, the fact that Collingwood was so good in 2011 and arguably the best team that year, um, coming off the 2010 grand final, obviously, and... People sort of saw them as the next dynasty team, but the Cats, you know, undid them. And it was, I don't know, I just thought that was a pretty good game of football despite it being 38 points. I think from memory, the Cats might have blown it out late. It was actually a pretty good game for most of it. There's some other average grand finals down here. Is that 03? As they won by 50 points. Uh, the Lions over the Pies. 2014 was pretty shite as well. I didn't watch much of that grand final, to be honest with you, but, you know, the same reasons as 15 and 17. It was just an absolute smashing, and Hawthorne obviously were <clears throat> too good, like they were in 15, for the Eagles, despite finishing lower. Now, 09, probably... Is that 09? Yeah. 09, probably another A1. Um, 12-point margin in the end. That iconic moment where I think it's Scarlet toe pokes it to Ablett to bomb the, goal, uh, bomb the ball long and pretty much sealed their fate. That was a great grand final. Feel bad for St Kilda, but um, it was a great spectacle. 2002, you have to give an A as well. Uh, that was the first grand final I ever watched and the Lions beat the Pies by nine points in my memory is Ackermanis snapping that goal, I think to seal the game from memory. So um, yeah, that was a cracking game. So what have we got left? So Hawthorne over Fremantle. Look, it was decent because it was close. It wasn't actually a great, really good, entertaining game of footy. Uh, but, you know, Fremantle fought hard back in their first ever grand final to only go down by 15 points against a very good team at Hawthorne. Um, yeah, we've definitely seen worse. I'd say that was pretty middle, uh, middle of the road. And that's, yeah, that's where I'd put them. Kangaroos over Carlton. Didn't watch it. I understand they won by about four goals. Yeah, stuck in, stick in the middle. Look, I can't give you a great opinion on that. Um, and it's the same exact logic with Essendon and Brisbane. It was before my time of watching football, but they won by about four goals or something like that. Um, so I can't imagine it would be as bad as these ones or as good as these ones up top. So there we go. I think we're just about at the end of my tier maker video, guys. So just feast your eyes on that. Tell me if you think any differently in the comments. I'll be interested to hear your opinion. I'm sure I will get some criticism for having the Eagles <laughs> winning ones both in S but I just genuinely believe they were the two of the best grand finals we've ever seen. I don't think you can really argue with that too hard. But anyway, guys, if you are new to the True Footy channel, make sure you hit subscribe for more AFL content. There's going to be heaps of content, particularly in grand final week, but also uh, leading into the off season with the trades and the draft happening. I don't plan on slowing down the content anytime soon because that is arguably the best time of the year after the grand final day. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all very soon somewhere on YouTube. Cheers.